What's good, YouTube? We back with another video. We got I survived seven days in a abandoned city with Mr. Beast. Mr. Beast, you know he come crazy every time. So let's see what's going on. That boy dropped this video a couple of hours ago, and I already got sixty-five million views. That's a deal. One day, 65 mil. We just got dropped off in the middle of an abandoned city and we're gonna spend the next seven days here. And there goes our only way out. We are now stranded for the next seven days. This man start the video off just screaming at people. Screaming, talking about some heat on abandoned. Bro, look. Abandoned crazy. where? What do you say the abandoned doing this? city? For content. This once beautiful city was bombed and abandoned because of war. Which means the only people here are us and our cameramen. At least that we know of. So I guess we start off by getting off the roof. But we knew that our first objective was to explore this city and find a safe place to call home for the next seven days. Which That's a huge city talking about a safe place. He be he be baiting this stuff like he is like like it ain't safe there. It ain't no way it's not safe there. He wouldn't beat up. Yeah, man. <laughs> with exploring this building. All right, let's see what's down the bottom of this building. I assume under this wood is a floor. I can't count though. It's giving real Call of Duty vibe though. What you say? I don't know why they just build it up. And then how he know that that's even stable semen and stuff? Mm. Only one way to find out. Oh, they got bro. They got bro. This is a, a super uh, a engineer. That boy do all type of crazy stuff, man. Jeez. You don't know who he is. I forgot his name though. I feel like I'm in a zombie apocalypse. This is wild. Oh, look at this. And after a little more exploring, we stumbled across an area that might work for our shelter. Oh, oh my gosh. I think this is where we should set up camp. You can see the entire city over here. Plus, we have a roof to protect us from rain. Wow. And now that we had our home base decided, the next step was to open up the supply crate left by the helicopter on the roof. Let's pop open this. Yeah, man, he won. Supply crate. It was real Call of Duty, ain't it? Oh. <laughs> Crate so we can build camp. We need some gear. Oh, whoa. Oh. This crate contains all the survival gear we'll need for the next seven days. And so we don't have to carry stuff all the way down the stairs. We're just gonna drop it. Oh. <laughs> Chandler! We have a perfect assembly line. Chris, it's raining sleeping bags. Oh. Chandler, okay, there's our dinner plate. Wait, Chandler, don't let it fall. Chandler! No! But jokes aside, it was time to actually start surviving now. Who wants fire duty? We'll get it. We're on bed duty. Chris got started on making a fire with Mark. I'm personally a fan of the log cabin when it comes to fires. Eagle Scout, did I mention that yet? While me and Chandler looked for something to sleep on. This is what mattresses were like 100 years ago? Oh Wait, you found a mattress? Dude. Yeah. No. no way. Instantly no, bro. You know, magic hole out type of bug, bed bugs, oh, type of bacteria, piss, anything. You know, fabric hole a lot of bumble clock. Where? On the second floor in the corner. <laughs> That's all you. Thanks. You should wrap that thing in a tarp so you don't get destroyed by bugs. I'm gonna I ain't go cap. This view is nice wrap though. What you say? On the what? On the what? Well, yeah, where are they located? City, or, I mean, what state or country or whatever they in. That mattress like a burrito. And while Chandler took his chances with this sketchy mattress, the rest of us decided to sleep on wooden doors. There's no shot that you're more comfortable than me right now. Uh, my back right here. The there are so many buildings we have yet to explore in this city. Tomorrow's gonna be insane. We'll see you in the morning. Even though our first day in the city went pretty smooth, something eerie did happen to occur later that night. While we were sleeping, Mark and some of the camera guys woke up to the sound of breaking glass not far from the camp. Which made us start to wonder if we were really alone inside this city. What was it? I thought I saw something. But on top of the freaky noises, this shelter was way too windy to sleep. How'd you guys sleep? Bad. So in pursuit of better sleep, we got up, got breakfast. Man, they, they just playing like it ain't nothing going on. How glad you're breaking. You feel me? What's going on? 
breakfast and got prepared to find our new shelter. I mean, this is the first time I've had chili for breakfast, but I'm so hungry, I kind of don't care. As well, since the raft. When have I ever been this excited over canned chili? I think my brain tried to forget about that. Thanks. So after a nutritious breakfast, we took off our drone to seek out a new shelter in the unexplored buildings. We haven't explored that building. We haven't explored those hotels. It is an actual city here. However, upon scanning the buildings, we did stumble upon an unexpected guest. There's a cat. There's a cat down there. I'm going to land the drone right beside the cat. Oh, here comes the oh, 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 look at that shot. Oh, yeah. Chris, Chris, look. Oh, oh, it's sniffing the camera. This cat has like no survival instinct. I promise we are not paying yeah, this no cat, cat to be an actor. As fun as playing with these cats is, no we need to focus on shelter because it's going to be freezing tonight. And so we started our journey to find a sufficient shelter for the challenge. Ooh. Mean line. Them cats survive in some way. They could be they wild cats, though. They look like no dirty cat. They don't look dirty. Wait, what is it? They clean, too, though, so... Oh. This? Whoa. This is Whoa. pretty. It just has this type of like aesthetic to it that is like beautiful even though it's ugly. Zombie apocalypse aesthetic. Yeah, there you go. Yeah. Wait, is that a pool? <gasps> wow. What the heck? This is so eerie. Back in the day, this used to look something like this. And after decades of rotting from being abandoned, this is... That edit though, bro. That man made an old pool look new. That boy hard. That added a hard. And that pool. Well, we're left with. Huge. This is a real Olympic size. This pool, pool right two here. people high, two people deep. Two people. That mud way deeper than that. It's water in there still. Yeah, yeah, I'm tweaking. And then you know the pool. Who you say? 10 feet. So, it's like 10 feet. It's so little. Where is it 10 feet at? Right here on this little ledge closer to us. Oh, 10 feet. It's 18. Like Wait, there's a soccer field? <laughs> the sport court. Oh. Is that a soccer ball? I almost died. I bet this soccer ball is older than me. Me older than all of us for sure. Well, besides Mark, he's old. <laughs> we have two options now. We can keep exploring down this cool looking tunnel and go check out the neighborhood. Or with the hour of light we have left, we can prep for nighttime and not freeze all night. Not freeze. That sounds like a good idea. I agree. And after spending the entire day looking for a new shelter, I just can't. They were just, they were just walking for a whole day. It ain't like they did nothing. They ain't find nothing, they ain't see nothing, they ain't do nothing but find a pool. In a, in, a, in a soccer ball. Get over how massive the city is. We finally found a place fortified enough to call home. So we don't freeze tonight. We're thinking of setting up camp in this room right here. We'll have a fire pit right here. We can tarp the wall right there. It's going to be comfy. Yeah, Mark's going to do all that. I said we. <laughs> the only hard part is, come over here, our current camp and all our gear is all the way over there. I hope this place really works out because it's going to be a lot of effort to so they just did all that walking without their gear. What, like the military, bro. It's Call of Duty, man. You supposed to put them on your back and get the hiking. What they doing? That was not smart. Now you got to do the same thing you was going to do anyway. And they got to all live for sun, bro. They probably going to be, they probably true. With the sun getting low and the temperature rapidly dropping, we made our way back to the old camping spot and packed up to settle into the new base. We're heading to the new campsite. The new camp, the new camp. The new camp. Okay, we got a lot of cleanup to do to prep this for tonight. This looks like a terrible place, but whatever. And after finding a more weatherproof base, we spent the next few hours dragging in as many of our belongings as we could before sundown. And because it got dark so fast, we couldn't bring all of our resources to the new base. So aside from one water bag, cans of chili, and a couple old mattresses, this is all we had. What does everyone think of our new place? I like that there's no wind. It's much warmer. Can What? They got an iPad in the middle of nowhere. Might got say your service up there. It was now the third day of seven doing this challenge. And once we got up, we continued exploring. Be careful. These stairs are actually steep. On this whole staircase, three of the stairs are normal. <laughs> this beach is nice. It actually smells like the beach. That's because cool. it is a beach. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> but not too far in, something strange happened. Can you guys see someone? What? Or don't you see that reflecting thing over there under the stairs? Oh, I do. Jimmy, remember mm -hmm. how we almost died the first night from glass bottle attack? I wonder if that's where the glass bottles came from. It was in. There's a person walking. This moment, we realized we actually weren't alone in this abandoned city after all. No. They found somebody in an abandoned city. If you ain't had nowhere to live, you were homeless. I don't, okay. They ain't tell her where they at, though, but I go live there, too. Yeah. Got a lot of stuff. Though. And once our cameraman spotted this mysterious person on our drone, we did what anyone else would do. Let's go check it out. Investigation. That building is sick. Why is this mansion beside this giant motel? <laughs> he said we did what anyone else would do. 
Go check it out. <laughs> what? I'm not going to talk to those screens on the Bend the Island. Definitely was a bad idea. Ago, this hotel stood as a first-class vacation resort, but years of war turned this once picturesque property into a city of ruins. Let's head on in. What did we just get ourselves into? We totally don't wait for the cameraman to walk in the room before we go in. Anyways, oh, it's getting dark. Everyone stop, stop. Candy. We should go in there. I'll go first. Okay, thank you. You think it's a Feastables bar? What the heck? This is starting to get very eerie. And I think Mark should go first. What? <laughs> Look at how deep this hallway is. Also, if you fall over here, you might die. There's a very- You're not in people. another country. Gotta be a some People been there pretty recent for it. They're talking about some Yoko's MVP. Non-zero chance somebody could be in here and like attack us. If someone attacked us, what are we doing? Every man for himself. Yeah, whoever's the slowest just dies. Whoa, what's that like? <gasps> Hello. I'm creeped out now, guys. We spent the rest of the day searching for the lurker. But once it started getting dark, we could only hope that later he wouldn't be looking for us. And now that it's dark out, here's what we've actually been waiting for. Give me Big Bertha. <laughs> What if you okay? What if you uh, what, if, what what do people call it? Be eating people uh, can, can, cannibal cannabis or something like that? Whatever, you be crazy, work. boy. <laughs> Not carnivore, it's a cannibal. I don't know. Thank you. Comment down below what the people what the people call it? Be eating people, man. I don't know what the people call. Oh, oh. <laughs> Big Bertha. Notice how you oh, wow. can't see that building over there. This yeah, is the world's light. most powerful flashlight. Whoa. Now you can, bro. I bet the fish in the ocean are tripping. <laughs> oh. It stopped working. How the mighty have fallen. <laughs> oh. The pluses of our actions is we got to play with the world's strongest flashlight at night. The negatives of our actions is now we got to walk back in the dark. <laughs> that was bad timing. It's way scarier going through this place at night. Yeah, it is. thousand percent. This really feels like the world has ended and we're just like surviving. So to avoid being murdered in cold blood, we went back to camp. We're back at camp! Yes! I'll get a fire going. I'm hungry. There's literally only chili left. And so with the last of our supply here, we're feasting! Tomorrow if we got some tables and seven chairs. And more food. That'd be awesome. But when we woke up on the morning of day four out of seven, we realized that we were already running low on supplies. Our bag of water is out of water. Do we have more? I don't know how they're gonna make it, but they're not killing no animals. They're not doing nothing. They just eating canned goods. Canned goods and living off water that they brought. They ain't did nothing. So no survival myth. Met no type of survival myth. Point the camera early. at that roof. All the way over there. I wish I had more than 100 calories in my body to go get it. Nose goes. What does nose goes mean? Sounds like you're going. He's gonna need help. He can't carry it on his own. So Mark and Chandler set out to go all the way back to our original camping spot and get more supplies from the crew. <laughs> Chandler was from touching nose. He like, oh, it take two people, huh? <laughs> Chandler and I run a side quest for water. This is a main quest. While they get the water, we don't want to be useless. We, I, I'm fine. I don't want us to be useless. So we're gonna go try to find a table and some chairs. But we didn't get very far before Chris got distracted. <laughs> Did we not know this was here? Jimmy! Yeah? I found a bike! That's definitely evidence somebody been there. That bike looked like it been, somebody just brought that bike though. Yeah, that bike was hundreds of years old, bro. It would have fell apart. The tires would have been flat gone. Mm -hmm. That looks like a nice bike. Where'd you find that? In here. This is the coolest abandoned city ever. Having fun? I am. All right, I'm gonna go look for a table. Okay, let's go. How are we gonna get the water out of this? Oh, it's heavy. The thought process is that this is a house. Okay. And what do people have in their house? Tables and chairs. Exactly. Mm -hmm. Wait, hold up. Look at this. Don't move. Yes. It's a chair. <laughs> Mark Strong. Uh, a little help here, Chan. This bag of water is over 100 pounds. And so my buddy Mark, being the science YouTuber that he is, had an idea to get it down from the roof more effectively. But... <laughs> oh! <laughs> they lost all their water. That's a tragedy. You can't survive without water, boy. We need stronger rope. What you're watching is real. Mark literally deleted half of our water. We got some bad yeah. news. He deleted the best space Hurry of water. <laughs> we broken all the water splattered on the ground. This was actually a very serious problem. Oh, no. Are you kidding me? Mark! Sorry! 
Don't worry, dude, we got one bag of water left. Carry this one down, please. And now that half of our water is actually gone, the only possible way to complete this seven day challenge would unfortunately be to send two of us home. So Chris and Chandler volunteered to leave the city, leaving Mark and I with just enough resources to make it the full seven days. Uh Jay Dang, they had to send people home, man. They should have, they should have killed the people, and they should have figured it out oh on some super science geek junk. That boy Rock Mark Rowe be doing all type of stuff. That boy could have purified water immediately. Oh, yeah, he, yeah, yeah, he be having them little packages. Why he just saying dude had a purified water packages? Thanks so. Genuinely, I would be scared if we left Jimmy with anybody other than you. I think Aww, you got it. you guys. But before they left, we wanted to have one final feast with the whole gang. Yeah, Mark got it. Now that Mark got to stay though, cause he the one who lost all the water. <laughs> Feel me? <laughs> oh my smoke. gosh. Mm. My hair. <laughs> Yummy. Great melting point on the chocolate, Jimmy, if I may. If you've tried Feastables before, the ones that used to look like this, you haven't tried Feastables. Our brand new formula tastes so much better. Genuinely, go to Walmart, try Feastables, and I tell me what you think. It. It's honestly oh way better than the old formula, but don't take my word for it. I just worked at NASA, so. <laughs> <laughs> what? That was like a small flick. Like, don't take my word for it. I just worked at NASA. Come on, they run NASA because they know everything. <laughs> Well, I just had s'mores, so I can get a look. <laughs> they gonna show him something up. Talking about you working now, so yeah. So we launched a flare to signal the boat, yeah! which was actually pretty cool. Bro, look how cool it's that cool. looks. Wait, it's lighting up the entire city. Wow. But the not cool part is now that Chris and Chandler are gone, it's just Mark and I surviving in this city. I feel so lonely. It's the first day without our friends, but we're gonna make the best of the situation. Our objective for today is to upgrade our shelter. We're gonna put up tarps and windproof this room. We're gonna build a fireplace in here and heat it up. We're gonna find shelves and tables. We're gonna make this place look like a home. With some of the Crazy. ideas we have planned, I might stick around till day 14. He's lying. And so we started exploring some nearby buildings to find furnishing for our shelter, which is when we found this awesome shelf, this little table, a massive carpet, and also this metal thing that was found by our camera guy. Whoa, look at this chair. Folks ain't sanitizing nothing, fool. Nothing. You think they really, really finna build a real, like, fireplace, Norm no. Mark? Well, Norm Mark, he do. Yeah, he will. You feel me? He might got something crazy. That works still, man. Bro, that's comf. <laughs> I found a fake TV. We can make it look like we have a TV now. It's a good find. Wow, that's just so cool. It's like courtyard with the arches. Each building in the city has like its own personality. What can we do with these? We could use like a vent system like this combined with these. We can make a fireplace. Wow, and like actual wallpaper? We have wallpaper. What do we use it for? To make the house a home, Jimmy. It's like we went grocery shopping, but instead we grabbed a bunch of 30 year old garbage. Honey, we're home. We found all with a white hoodie on. Hood is still white. Hood is still this white. This stuff. Now we're gonna start decorating. We're no longer surviving, Jimmy. We're thriving. I like that. We literally spent the next four hours moving all of the rubble out of our shelter, which made us pretty thirsty. The water in these sacks tastes like trash. Which is why we all brought a circle water bottle. Because you can put a flavor cartridge in it and make water taste good. This is my first time drinking a circle bottle. Delightful experience. You can determine the intensity. So if you're feeling really audacious, you can have level nine flavor. Or if you're just a wuss, you can have level one flavor. Want to try a six? Six? I'll match your six. That tastes awesome. Mm. Which flavor are you using? I'm rocking fruit punch because it's got energy. And you know what we need right now, Jimmy? Energy. That's right. Good thing Circle has our back. And now that we had been hydrated, it was time to start crushing these renovations. When everything's said and done. I'm gonna tell you what's really crazy. That he talking about sending the other two home, but you still got a camel crew and all type of people there that oh, gotta wow. eat and feed. All them folks that need water and food. You send them two people home. They probably surviving off whatever. Mark could have set the camera. Look at his pants. The pants are, are a rope. Oh, you talking about the rope on his pants? Probably a rope. This room will be the greatest room in an abandoned city you've ever seen. This is our new shelf. All right, let's see how she looks. See that? See all that dust? Oh, isn't that oh, satisfying? Man. And now that the shelf is clean, we can use it to store food. For some reason, over half the food we packed is chili. And no one here likes chili. <laughs> That's the non-chili row. That's the chili row. This is the Feastables row. Right there. <laughs> now we have Crazy a table to put our circle water bottles. Mark has a 22 ounce bottle. This is the 32 ounce bottle. And they have a metal double insulated bottle that you could get for free right now if you buy 10 flavor cartridges. What a steal. No, it's not a steal, it's free. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> All right. 
That's gonna block a lot of wind. And with our new door in place, we also hung up this huge tarp, which will allow us to keep all the heat from the fireplace inside our shelter. Oxygen comes in, fire burns, sends heat in the room, sends smoke out. This is redneck engineering at its finest. And finally, after being cold for so long. All right. Look at that. And we yeah. have a fire. I can feel the heat coming out. We Jimmy rigged this up with like ruins from an abandoned city. Anyway, go to drinkcircle.com slash Mr. East or scan the QR code on his face if you want to order a circle right now. This is the final room. We have plenty in the corner. We have our bed. Like, did he just light it lit or did he use something to that are now smaller. Tell me this isn't genius. This is Mark's iPad in the TV frame. Obviously some nice lighting, a furnace that is heating up the room, a real table with chairs, and a- Them folks made trash into a home. Oh my, they playing chairs in the back. I mean, uh, chairs in the back. Shelving unit with the scraps of food we have left and the dirty towel we've been sharing. This is survival. But just as our night was going so well, for the fifth day in a row, we heard broken glass. Mark, I'm right here, dog. What was that? Man, we were having such a good day, too. I want to go see who's upstairs. I'm carrying the knife as a knife. threat, but I'm not going to. This man got a knife with the bees, bro. He told me I got a knife as a threat, but I'm not going to use it. And that thing right there so creepy, boy. What is that? They drawing all type of weird stuff on the wall. What is that? got <laughs> back to the house. Hey, if you're up here, just come out. I want to be best friends with you. Are you serious you're not pranking me? Bro, I swear to you, it was not me. Hello? What is this? What? Oh my gosh. This is the most Mark Rover thing I've ever seen. <laughs> <laughs> what the heck? You swore! So, turns out Mark was pranking us, and he was the one dropping bottles this whole time. I've got a remote control here, but no one suspects it. I can put it in my sleeping bag, and I can start launching glass bottles from the roof, freak everyone out. Oh my... Man, what? This super tech geek guy, man, he's be dropping bottles from roofs when he ain't even there. Ain't no way. <laughs> Who would've thought of this? Gosh. I thought I could trust you. Boom. Now that Mark's not pranking me, we re-rigged his contraption. Feast rolls me. Whoa. Here you go. I'll take one. That boy's here. I got one as well. That's kind of cool. <laughs> <laughs> to be honest, it was pretty easy to forgive Mark because we only had one day left in the challenge. Good morning. Good morning, Abandoned City! Abandoned City! Abandoned City! It's so much colder out here than it is in there. Let's go back! It's now the morning of day six. All the modifications we did were phenomenal. And it was at least 10 degrees warmer. That was amazing. I slept incredible. Mark, on our- He vlogging on a little like a, a, a Sony Z1 or something. A little smaller camera too. Our last real day. I say we go have some fun. Yeah! yeah! Jimmy, is that a kayak? I know we- But being destructive is a very fun sport. Yeah. What should you do with it? <laughs> ah! Oh, now someone can kayak in this pool. Me and Mark really did have a lot of fun. We played baseball, we played soccer. Mark even taught me how to skip rocks, scientifically. There it is. And even screaming at each other from different sides of the city. Mark! Mark! Let's throw things <laughs> off the roof at the same time! Great idea! To be honest, doing all these kind of dumb in things way really angel. did take our minds off of how lonely the city really was. Yeah! And by the time the final... So what about the person that they seen, though, talking about the bottles? Oh, my, that's a left bra alone. Was that the bait, too? That was the edit? That was Bigfoot. <laughs> Day of this challenge arrived. After cleaning up camp, we only had one objective in mind. Leaving this place and never coming back. Mm -hmm. Right here! Freedom! Huge shout out to Mark. He didn't have to do this. He has his own channel. He's very busy. Here's his channel. I appreciate you. And let's get out of let's here. Let's go. By the way, I'm giving away $10,000 a day every day for the next 15 days to end up people who buy our new Feast of Bar. Go buy the new formula. It tastes amazing. Yeah, that means Mr. B's doing weird stuff. Now, like, why would you even go stand on the, stay on the abandoned uh, city anyway? He ain't got no business been on that city. That's a lot. Of, that's a lot of acres. They ain't even explored now for real, though. They, they didn't. They ain't, we didn't really see too much. They ain't really do nothing. They just was there. Like, yeah, they just was like, they really ain't do nothing. <laughs> People they ain't do nothing. They were just there, like, in, in the way, out the way, actually. He didn't even say what it was, but yeah, man. Make sure y'all like, comment, subscribe. subscribe. Y'all stay tuned for more, man. We're going to keep them coming, keep them going, man. Hey.
Let us know what y'all want to see, man. We got to keep going up all year. You did. Appreciate y'all, man. You did that. You did. Stay yours, man.